in this video I'll show you how to reset your HP LaserJet M110WE in case you're having some Wi-Fi issues or any other network issues usually this solves it so what you need to do is to go over here on the top left corner where the buttons are and what you need to do is to press this Wi-Fi button that you see over here during I would say about 20 seconds I'll tell you when to release it until you see the power button flashing and the butt and the light just above it the exclamation mark flashing as well so let's do it together i'm keep pressing this wi-fi button and i'm waiting it will take some time don't worry just keep pressing more okay the power button is now flashing don't release yet we need to see the other light over here flashing Okay, it's flashing as well. Now you can release the Wi-Fi button and all you have to do now is to wait. The printer will keep flashing like this during a few seconds and then it will shut down by itself and power back on by itself. You don't have, again, uh, to press on anything at this point. You did everything you had to do. Okay, the printer just powered off by itself. It will stay like that one second and then it will power itself back on. Again, wait a bit. To know when this thing, this reset is done, you'll see the Wi-Fi button flashing. This will mean that the reset has been done and now the printer is ready to be paired with your phone or your computer back again. So you can start fresh. Okay, you see the Wi-Fi light over here, the blue light is flashing, it means we have done it. If your issue is still going on with your HP printer, even after doing this and trying to connect it, let's say it doesn't work, what I suggest is that you go on the back and you unplug this cable, okay, and stay like this during five minutes. Then plug it back into the printer itself. And make sure that the other end of this cable is plugged into a wall socket and not a power strip. Sometimes the power strip could not uh, deliver enough power to power this printer and this gives you the error. So just make sure this, this is done and you should have a working printer after doing all this. Thanks for watching. If you want to support my channel, please leave a like, subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video.